Your Excellency, President Akufo Addo, this historical state visit has given us the opportunity to reaffirm and enhance the momentum that has been growing these last years, and in particular since my state visit to your country in 2017. During these last years, the ongoing high-level exchanges between, between high officials of our governments have created the necessary confidence and trust between our two countries. The impetus that you, your visit gave to strengthening the relations between our two countries is undeniable. We've seen then great activity on the part of Maltese companies within our economy, and we foresee a relationship between our two countries that will guarantee us a win-win situation. We see Ghana as an important uh, entry point, gateway into the West African region and also the larger African market that is about to develop. As you know, very soon the agreement that the 44 states of Africa have signed to bring into being a continental free trade area is almost on the verge of execution. We have, I think, as I, we stand now, 21 countries that have ratified the agreement. We need 22 to bring it into, 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 into effect. And Ghana could be a very, very important gateway for Maltese relations with, with that market. And uh, in the same way we see the possibilities of Malta as an entry into the European Union and the European market as something that could be of very great interest to our companies and to our enterprises. So we're determined to do whatever we need to, to do to be able to make the relationship that we are developing at the high political level translate itself also into economic and social and cultural context. And that is my understanding of the agreements that we have signed today. We see um, Malta as the gateway for Ghana to Europe, which is a very important market for us. Uh, we've signed an economic partnership agreement with the European Union, and we want to be sure that as a country we are able to take advantage of the EU market, just as Europe um, is poised to take advantage of the Ghanaian uh, market. So we believe that Malta would be a strategic gateway uh, for us to Europe. We are gathered here this afternoon because we are firm in our minds about the positive role of the private sector in the successful development of our national economies. Malta last year was a judge the fastest growing economy in the European Union and is projected to grow the fastest this year. For us in Ghana, we have spent the last two years putting in place measures to improve the fundamentals of our economy, which in recent years had been in considerable disarray, necessitating recourse to an IMF bailout program. We'll be modestly successful 
in trying to grow the Ghanaian economy, ensuring that our economy grew from 3.6% in 2016, the lowest in two decades, to 8.5% in 2017, our first year in office, to 6% last year, and is projected to grow by 7.9% in 2019, making it one of the fastest growing economies in Africa. We have also now successfully completed and exited the IMF program and have decided that with disciplined management of our public finances, we will not have recourse again to a bailout program. We have implemented measures which are leading our country and its economy into the new digital age, formalizing the Ghanaian economy, reducing the cost of doing business, and facilitating interaction between businesses and their clients, particularly in a technology-driven era where connectivity through digital services is an important element in achieving competitiveness. The implementation of these measures and the strengthening of our macro economy have meant that Ghana is today the leading recipient of foreign direct investment in West Africa. Growing investor confidence has meant that global vehicle manufacturing companies such as Volkswagen, Sinotrack, Nissan, Renault, and Suzuki, major oil companies such as Acker Energy of Norway and ExxonMobil of the United States of America, and tech giant Google are working towards establishing bases in Ghana. Ghana, ladies and gentlemen, is ready for business and I'm happy that Maltese companies have already made investments to the tune of some 19 million United States dollars in our country. I'm hopeful that the new impetus given to Ghana Maltese relations by the reciprocal high level visits of the last 18 months will inspire Maltese companies to take advantage of the aggressive public private partnership program we're embarking on to attract investment in the development of both our railway and road infrastructure. There are also several projects in water, housing, transport, industry, manufacturing, agriculture, petroleum and gas, the exploitation of our mineral wealth of bauxite, iron ore and gold, amongst others, which are being structured to attract private sector investment and financing. You can choose to invest in Ghana through the Ghana Investment Promotion Center or set up as a free zone enterprise. Regardless of where the investment is, government has instituted a number of measures and incentives for the investor depending on the nature of the activity or the location of the investment. This is to help your investment succeed. Ghana is a country governed by the rule of law, where the separation of powers is real. We have an independent judiciary, which ensures accountable governance, and you can be assured that your investments will be protected and secure. Hopefully, this business forum has provided you with the necessary platform for business networking, which will help advance economic relations between Ghana and Ghana.